Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, and I, for some crazy reason, actually I know why, I'm in a really good mood, and it's simply because we are surrounded with little puffs of loveliness, they're just everywhere, Re remember what to do, just, you, you grab them, you kiss them, and then you set them free, it, it will make you feel better, it's the truth, alright, look, let, let's talk about uh, what's going on here in this market, what happened today, what we can expect moving forward. I mean, I covered a lot of this today in the video that I did this morning. I explained to you the mechanism is very simple. More cash into the stock market. More cash into the stock market. And then guess what? Even more into the stock market. There was a nice rally on Wall Street today. Dow Jones Industrial Average finished, finished higher by about 218 points. We were up like 270 earlier in the day. Now let's keep this in mind. Just yesterday, the Federal Reserve downgraded the U.S. economy and said we were going to miss GDP forecasts across the board. But they promised no rate hikes for 2019 that means more easy money, more rate suppression. Again, there's the disconnect between the economy. They're telling us economy is slowing. We're downgrading the economy, um, but we're going to keep the easy money going. So the gap is going to get greater and greater. Our economy is going to slow down, and stocks are going to do this. They're going to be. They're going to deviate. You understand? This is going to get in the way of some of the little puffs of loveliness around us, but they'll just move out of the way because we do not want to hurt them. You know that. So anyway, uh, in, in all seriousness, we get a downgrade in the economy, uh, but the Fed promises more easy money. This should make it clear to you that the most powerful institutions on this planet and the ones that are running the entire show are the central banks. Remember, presidents, kings, queens, monarchs, whoever they are, they will bow down and kiss the rear end of every single Federal Reserve president and the chairperson. You see what they do. When any politician, uh, is, you know, when they have to question a Fed chair, it's like, thank you for your service. Can I kiss your ass? And, uh, you know what? We're just going to leave it there. Because th that's the truth here, people. It's unbelievable. So, um, by the way, you're never going to believe who I talked to today. Yeah, Stephen Beckner. Remember the guy who talked to uh, Fed Chair Powell yesterday? I told you he was my new best friend, and we actually are friends now. And I'm glad to know you, sir. I directed him to the video that I did yesterday. I think he got a little charge out of it. Uh, so uh, let's welcome Stephen Beckner to our, our our sphere of lions and friends. And I love all of you. It's the truth. Look, let's talk about this um, because you already know. But let's put an actual, let, let's just put it out there. The real reason why the Fed is not raising rates um, for the entire year is not because they believe that inflation is in check. No, they told us. They told us straight out the reason. Our economy is slowing and we're going to miss GDP forecasts. So here comes the easy money. Piles of it. And the distortions between the economy and the stock market are going to continue to move in opposite directions. Um, this is the, these are the facts. And there is no other freaking way around it. But this is good. This is our strength. This is our power. And we can make this become real to you and I. Very simply. Again, we know what they're going to do. Not only we don't have to guess anymore. All right, all of you know, and I'm going to just say it again. Nobody, nobody has a better record of calling the Fed than the guy you're looking at right freaking here. Nobody. Anywhere. Mainstream media, YouTube, pickets. I'm the man. I am the man when it comes to calling the Fed. Uh, but we no longer have to guess anymore. They already t they told us what they're going to do. There's no speculation about rate hikes. The next move more than likely is going to be a cut. All right. 
So th that's going to be what we're going to speculate on whenever it comes up. But for now, it's so simple. Uh, we just we're going to bet against the debt, become our own central bank. They cannot stop printing. They cannot stop suppressing rates. They're going to go negative. We're going to get negative rates here in the United States. I mean, it's everywhere. It's inescapable. Uh, uh, it's, it's simply too much. And with regard to this market, like I outlined in the video earlier, more cash into the stock market. The Fed is going to make sure that's exactly where it goes. It's a deliberate act to hyperinflate the debt market, hyperinflate the stock market, uh, and, and, and that's, that's it. It's so simple. Now, specifically, what this guy is looking at here, what do we know about the major indices here for you lions out, out here? Well, the small caps have been, have been the laggard here. Um, and I, I've been alluding to the uh, ticker IWM for a while now. I am still not in anything. I am getting conflicting indicators all over the place. I don't like conflicting indicators. Neither should you. You want all of these lovely things to align. That's when we will have the best chance of having successful trades. Look, let's, let's lay it out. We can make, frankly, insane, stupid, ridiculous, almost beyond belief profits in this market. We can also lose. Now, we don't want to do that. We want to minimize any potential losses and maximize our potential gains. Now, I outline all of this for you in, in all of my 100% free briefs that you can get today, right now, from my website, traderschoice.net. There is a lovely link in the description of this video. I would suggest getting your copy. Why not? There are tens of thousands of people all over the world that have them, and they're really free, so get yours. Um, so let's can, we're going to keep our eye here on the Russell 2000 ticker IWM. Um, I'm really honing in on this at the, uh, right now. Um, forget about this market dropping, people. Um, I know how badly you want to short this market. I know how twisted it is. I know that it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. But the Fed told us what they're going to do. We know who the six banks are that are going to make sure this happens. This is an election cycle. I mean, it couldn't be easier. This is like taking candy from a baby, something I would never do. But it's the truth. So we're going to sit back and we are going to wait to strike. At the right time, keep your eye on that Russell 2000. That's my next potential target. And again, follow me on Twitter at least if you want to know what I'm doing. I am going to post every position I am into, when I enter it, and when I exit it, so you know what I'm doing. Now, in my free brief there, the one rule you must never break in trading stocks, I know you have yours, you're downloading it right now, I outline how to play it too. Please take advantage of this. Anyway, um, so let's all wave to a new friend, Stephen Beckner. Stephen, man, you got guts, guts to see what you said to uh, it yesterday. Yeah, I know you know who it is now, and I am glad to have you as a friend. And now that we're friends, we're friends with everybody because we're all just one big, happy, lovely family. It's the truth. All right, look, uh, I hope this has been informative, important to you. Uh, makes sense to you, uh, <laughs> making sense of the bizarre, twisted uh, world that we are now living in. And, and we're going to rip its face off beyond the point of recognition. It's going to be so beautiful, and I'm so happy to do that with all of you. All right, I'm out of here. I'm talking too much. See you in the morning. Over and out.